Hola, mi gente linda. ¿Cómo están ustedes? Bienvenidos. Welcome to the Cultural Classroom. My name is Allison Perryman, and I am a Spanish teacher. I have been so for a decade. I can finally say that now that we are approaching 2022. I started my career in 2012, and so 2022 is my marker for my decade-long career. Um, I am the founder of The Cultural Classroom, and here at The Cultural Classroom, our mission is to provide authentic and valuable resources that save you time and effort. In today's video, we will be providing a freebie, and with that freebie, it is going to help you with your new year organization and decluttering with one of the most pesky, annoying part of our lives, our desktop computers, or our computer desktops, rather. In the link below, you will have access to four computer desktop organizers, and hopefully there is something for everybody. I designed different desktop organizers that you can use on your laptop, your computers, um, and uh, it's just, it's just, they're cute, <laughs> they're fun. And I've been actually using mine for a while, for a couple of weeks now. And so that's why I wanted to share it with everybody because I thought it might be fun to organize ourselves first before we, um, you know, go out into the world. So uh, without further ado, here we go. First, what you'll do in order to access the um, desktop organizers is you would go to the link below in the uh, YouTube description and it will lead you to something that's going to look relatively like this. This is still in draft uh, stage. And so it's still in draft stage, um, but what won't be in draft stage is this right here, these buttons. So you'll click on either wallpaper or you'll click on, you can download the files here. And when you download that, or when you click on that, um, you will get a zip file of the four desktop organizers, as you can see here. Now, you can actually preview what the files look like here on the blog post. But when I'm what we're going to do is we're going to walk through each one and kind of see what they are and see, um, you know, what each one kind of is and what they kind of stand for. So the first one says, let all that you do be done in love, which I think is such a beautiful quote, whether you're religious or not religious. I think that's just such a beautiful quote. It does come from the Bible. Um, and I just think it's just really pretty, just such a pretty quote. Um, sometimes we need to remember that as teachers that everything we do has, you know, should be done in love. Um, but not to the point of abuse. <laughs> um, to teach is to change a life forever. Um, a lot of us have heard that quote before. So this is a lot of muted colors. And um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but you can drag the point of a desktop organizer is that you can drag your folders and your files to these little spaces. So you can drag important apps here, you can drag important files here, and you can drag media here. And then for this one, you can drag anything that's miscellaneous here if you have just like a lot of miscellaneous things that just don't really have like a category. Um, your folders here important apps here, and then anything else that's important over here. For this one, you are changing lives. I left this one very blank because I wanted one that you could customize easily. And I'm gonna show you how to customize it. It's very, very quick. And this one is my favorite. Favorite. This is the one that I actually use. Um, I did clear my desktop, so I'm gonna show you how to install it and then how to um, put it all back together. 
So now if you wanted to customize one of them, what you would do is um, you would take note of the width and the height here, which is 1920 by 1080. And then you would go into Google and you would resize your frame, your page setup. Custom. Pixels, 1920 by 1080. Okay, and then I would clear off all of this. And then I would just insert the image. Mm, I think I have it in pictures. All right, look at that. All right, so let's say I want this one. Okay, perfect. And let's say that I want to customize it by adding a different title here. School Oops. Um No, um, let's be real. IEPs, <laughs> right? Let's be real. Um, although you have to check with your school if you can store IEPs on your desktop. Not sure if that's a thing. Um, And then, um, personal. I just made these up on the fly. All right, then I would control all so that everything is bunched together. Um, I would group them together. And then I would download this as a picture. So let me see, there's a way to do this. Download as a JPEG. And now you have your um, customized slide, your customized uh, background. Isn't that cool? Now getting the desktop that you want on the computer is really easy, at least on the Mac it is. So I think you can see my Mac uh, screen, and what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna right click, change desktop background, and that should pull up mm, my system preferences. And it's going straight to desktop and screensaver. And right now I just have it set to soft pink, which I never do. This is like too, too pink for me. Um, but I have a better pink for it, which is this one. And I love this background. I customized the heck out of it. Um, for this background, how I organize it is, this is a letter that a student sent me. I can move this stuff around. I don't think I can move it while I'm actually uh, filming. But um, this is a letter that a student sent me, and it um, meant a lot to me. It was very sweet. And so I put it here so that I can open it every so often and uh, read it. 
And then I just kind of reorganize everything um, according to if it's important, apps, files, folders, etc., etc. I just know where to find it. And that's that's it. Um, I'll show you like a final image of what everything looks like after I'm done organizing it. Thank you so much for watching this video and for making it to the end. I hope that you really enjoy the desktop organizers. And also please be sure to check out all of my New Year's uh, items for the classroom. I have the Doce Uvas traditions and all of these fun things that, you know, you go back to the classroom, you don't really know what to teach going back. At least this like gives you kind of a buffer going back to the classroom. I've linked it below, pinned it, tagged it, um, all of the flip throughs. So enjoy, enjoy the rest of your break and con mucho amor y paz. Adiós.